Now, since COVID-19 invaded our lives, everything has become virtual, from staff meetings to family get-togethers to interviews here on Live at Nine. But now, our very own Mid-South Master Chef is taking the virtual experience a big step further by offering a virtual dining experience. When I say virtual, I mean really virtual, because the catch is, there's no actual food to eat. Chef Logan Gulab joins us now live on location to explain the concept of the NFT virtual dining experience. Logan, always good to have you on Live at Nine. Next time, we hope it'll be in person. What in the world is this? All right, well, thank you so much for having me. And um, this virtual dining experience is kind of what I see as the new kind of revolution of food and the new revolution of cooking. Uh, the NFT art is this big bubble that's kind of going on and it's this artist and, and kind of hackers and this uh, digital cryptocurrency, you know, uh, these systems are all coming together and I see digital dining and digital food as the kind of the culmination and the next step for, you know, dining and food and art and flavor and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so that's kind of what I saw and envisioned when I kind of created my virtual dining experience here. You were actually featured in a national article of about NFTs. You mentioned several other examples of what one might buy. And it's a, uh, how do you put it, where there's only a, one of, like it's a one of a kind, like you get a number, or so it's kind of bragging rights, right? How, explain that. Yeah, well the NFT, the NFT is kind of a very special thing. It uh, stands for non-fungible um, token. And that means that basically it runs on the same uh, programs that run Bitcoin and all your major cryptocurrency. It's a blockchain. And so there's a set of numbers that are very specific for the one digital kind of file. <laughs> and that one file, um, you can bring it into your wallet, you can buy it, you can sell it, you can trade it. It's kind of like a little bit of a trading card, um, and it's just very unique. So is it, when I said one of a kind, it's actually like a limited edition, right? How many actually will there be? So that if I, if I buy one, and, you know, can I say to Alex, well, you know, you can't have this unless you buy it from me. Like, it's that special. Yes? No? How's that work? Yes, with the uh, with the NFT, you get the one, you get the one string of numbers, and you get the one file. So right now, I only have one of these, and and it's <laughs> one, and I only have one of these for sale. So it's the one video and the one dining experience, the one dinner, um, at least how that's how I see it. Um, there can be multiple, but each of those requires the artist to kind of reprint it, so you get a different number. So real, so, real quickly, what is the meal going to consist of? Because it's got some pretty fancy ingredients. Uh, yeah, it's um, got a salad with ice cream on it, the vinegar ice cream, and then it's got an oyster dish on it, and um, I believe there's one more dish. That's the oyster dish, and then the salmon with the, uh, the caviar. And I put these three dishes together because I thought it was a good kind of flow. And also, the art looks really kind of unique. Yeah, definitely. Again, putting Memphis on the map in a way, frankly, I had never heard about. Thanks so much, Logan. We will be back with you shortly in our next half hour to actually get a recipe for those viewers who want to uh, copy you at home and actually have something to eat. Thanks so much, Logan. We will link to your website. Appreciate you.